we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new ruler bar that you've probably been noticing working with the Cubase 8.5 update. Visually, you can see that when we hover our mouse over the ruler bar, we now have two distinct sections. There's this area up above that's highlighted and then the normal area down below. Well, now when we hover our mouse over each one of these areas, they provide us with two distinct functions. So when we move our mouse into this upper area, we'll see the cursor turn into the draw tool. Well, this upper area now is where we go to deal with our locators. So if we wanted to loop a new section or to set the left and right locator, we can click and drag our mouse in this upper section to set the left and right locator. Moving our mouse into the area below the highlighted section simply moves our cursor. And by clicking and holding our mouse, we can zoom in and out just like normal. So it's no longer integrated into one section. And that's because we have a few new features when it comes to punching in and punching out. If we hit F2, we'll open up our transport and along with the transport redesign, which we'll take a deeper look at in another chapter, we have a few new modules that we can add to the transport. We'll right click on our transport and you'll see that we now have punch points. Punch points are what we use now in place of the old function for auto punch in and auto punch out. To punch in and out in the old version of Cubase, you would set your left and right locators and then simply just activate punch in for the left locator and punch out for the right locator. You could bring your cursor back and then press play and it'll automatically start punching in at the point of the left locator. But in Cubase Pro 8.5, we now have the ability to actually punch in and punch out of an independent area from the locators. So you'll see a small handle to the right of our left and right punch in activators. By clicking that, it will open up the punch points drawer. The behavior of the punch points can either be locked to the locator points, which we have set now, which also enables the original behavior of the locators acting as the punch points, or you can unlock the punch points and now set the punch range individually from the locator points. So if we want to perform a cycle record at the same time we punch in, we now have the ability to do that. So to sum it up, you can either have your punch area separate from the locators or by enabling the lock, the punch points will automatically be locked to the beginning and end locators. When you right click on the ruler, you'll see an array of brand new options available. And some of those options were only available by use of key commands. So be sure to check those out as well. You can also access additional punch point features from the redesigned transport menu. Come up to transport, go down to punch points, and you'll see an array of features available in this menu also. In the next video, we're gonna check out all of these brand new transport features. So keep watching and we'll be right back in the next video.